today we will share on uh, Raguna Dasji and um, remember his services. You yeah. agree? Yes. Okay. Right. And Ma Madhuri, he will make kirtan. We can. Uh, I I invite all devotees. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> and uh, Shama Priya just asked me if I know the address where his sister lives or so, but I don't have no address, no contact to all any of his family members. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. And Suniti, to your question, Guru Dev said he has no idea. Also, we have no idea. Yes. They tried to find out. Shama Priya called me. Suniti, Let's see. Yeah, we can dich hören, aber sehr leise, Madhuri. Ich kann euch nicht hören. Das irgendein Block. Kannst du ähm, mal sprechen, Suniti? Kannst du mich hören, Suniti? Ja, okay, yes. ich könnte mich hören, okay. Ja. Alles klar. Hm. Ich glaube, du hast die, äh, die Musikereinstellung nicht eingestellt, Madhuri. Es kommt verzerrt. Hm. Thank you all for coming. Today we will take the special occasion of the day that our dear Raghunath has left his body at Radhakund today, this morning. We want to share a little bit of our experiences, our services, our memories with him. And it's a mixture of being happy for him and sad for, you know, not having a great soul with us. But, you know, we all have to go our own way also to go back to the lotus feet of Swamini. So the Vaishnavas have very individual ways also how they live their lives and how their meditations are going. And uh, thank you all for coming. And please just share what you feel from your heart. When I heard today that Raghunath had passed, I was so happy for him. Really, I was so happy. Because it was always his wish, always his desire. He had a, such a strong call for Radakund. And um, although his life was also not always so easy, he had also obstacles like all of us, but he was so positive all the time. And he stayed at Radakund, and also many devotees, they visited him there. And uh, we remember him as a very joyful musician. He was always into his guitar, always into Kirtan. And uh, he did also so much service in Mongeraj Mandir for, I don't know, for five years. He was staying there with Gurudev. He came and he got the mercy of Gurudev, who revealed to him Ragamark, how to live the life one-pointedly focused on Swamini Radhe. So...
I want to give all the chance and maybe Gurdiv, if you want to also give some blessings and say something that we can all learn how how uh, precious is the time and how we never know when it will be the last moment. It's so special, you know, that he was gone from Radakund, I think maybe for one year, I'm not sure, maybe Shakshu knows better. But he came back and he was just uh, there for a short time and then Swamini called him back. This is amazing. No, how, how long he was there now? I don't know. He came uh, in March back from India and prepared all his papers and somehow he was successful, even it was very, very difficult <clears throat> to show the German officials all these kind of papers and proofs he needed for his whole life. They asked <clears throat> him for papers, which nobody has. But somehow he could convince them. And on the very last day, when they left to Vrindavan, they, he got his so-called Rentenbescheid, which oh, means... Oh, pension, his pension, his, his pension, pension paper. He will get his pension now for the rest of his life. And this was actually the, the main purpose why he came to Germany, to organize that so he can stay in peace at Radakund and nobody will uh, ask him for anything and he has his uh, financial income and stability and can uh, focus on his budget. So he got everything what he wanted and also his departure now is a sign or a symbol of his spontaneous life. We can say he was always spontaneous and <clears throat> very creative in his whole life. So now this is a kind of uh, interesting departure, which was also very short and spontaneous and very, very surprising for us all because he was now in Germany at very many different doctors checking everything and everything was fine, no problem. And he was very happy about this result that now I can go to Radakund without any problem. I have checked my body, everything is fine. He had some teeth. Uh, <coughs> Uh, correction, whatever. Everything was good, and so he, it was a good time for him to go to Radakund. And uh, all his uh, <clears throat> ideas were only around Radakund, staying at Radakund. And he said, yes, we, <clears throat> one day we will all stay together at Radakund, and maybe we can buy a house there. And <clears throat> He, he, his favorite game was that he said, yes, uh, read one verse from Vilap Kusumanjali, and then he, he uh, could exactly tell which kind of verse it was, which kind of number of verse it was in Vilap Kusumanjali. So this was, he knew all the verses, uh, and he enjoyed so much to just hear and read from Vilap Kusumanjali. He, didn't touch any, any anything else anymore, any other book than the Lapkus Manjali. And I remember very well that he told me that it is so important to feel, uh, to understand the feelings of Raghunath, and only by understanding his feelings, we will be able to enter into the Lapkus Manjali. And not by chance, Gurudev gave him the name Raghunath Das. So now he even got the blessings from Gurudev to leave his body at Radakund. Radhe Radhe, thank you.
Thank you, Shakshu, because I think you you just had the last contact with him before he went to Rindavan, right? I think he was at your house. And uh, when you mentioned that he knows all the verses, I also remember that he also he can uh, uh, sing all the songs of the artists by heart. Also, when he was in Mangeraj Mandir, he would always do the artists, Mangal arti for many many years, and also other artists. When in the summertime it was very hot, and not so many devotees were there, only the locals, so to say. He can sing all the so all the songs by heart. He was a very good, um, you know, memorizing all the songs. And not only that, once we were also speaking about our Gayatri mantras, and he told me, I always go through our Guru Parampara, and I know all the names from down, from, you know, from Gurdiv mm -hmm. up to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Surada and Mohan. I remember them daily. He was uh, saying that, and I thought, wow, he is so blessed that he has such a, a beautiful memory and for the most important things. So that what you spoke remind me of this. Yeah, yeah. Then he told me also that he, he knows the name of the whole Guru Parampara and is uh, giving his thunderbats to them every day. Yeah, maybe I can share a little bit too. Um, Madhuri, sorry, but we can hardly hear you. Somehow your your sound is not uh, coming. Better now? Yes. <laughs> but still something is not good, Madhuri, like usual. Usually you have a very clear and very nice sound. And I, I have, I, I wanted to beg you something also. You have the originals when Ragunad was in your studio and recorded some songs. So yeah. maybe you can put them in for us all. Yeah. Um, I have only one song from him. And um, yes. Can you hear me now? A bit better, but not really clear. Yeah, it's not it's not so simple with the technique here today. Um, okay. I like only to share that last springtime when he was here, we cooked together in my kitchen here and uh, my wife was in Denmark and uh, <coughs> so I was so happy to have his association <coughs> and we were talking about and hearing uh, Maha Mantra by cooking and he told me how happy he is in Radha Kund and uh, that he was so happy to make his little music school there. And um, so that he was very happy. And at one moment he said, oh, maybe I can stay there up to the end of my life. I will be happy to stay there at the end of my life. Yeah, and now it happened really. And uh, so I think maybe, or not maybe, I think it is a very, very big mercy he got that he could give up at this place not his life. He didn't give up his life. He got the goal. So this makes me happy because I see that he had such a deep relation to Radharani that she fulfilled his wish. So thank you very much that I can say that, that uh, maybe it is allowed to us to be not in a, in a depressive mood, to be in the mood to help him to go up to the spiritual world, to the spiritual service, in Radha and Krishna, and that we send him our heartly happiness that he fulfill his wish in the seva of Radha and the gopis and the mandaris. And uh, so, thank you.
Rather, rather. Uh, maybe I can speak uh, shortly one. I connected only for two years, Raghunath Das in Vrindavan. It was for me like an explosion. Explosion. <laughs> It's so... Today I'm very emotional of this. I'm so happy that I see the Dragonauts connecting in your heart that it is possible to get this goal. This is for me, this is for me <laughs> so wonderful. I see it and Gurdiv here. I can connect him only for two years. Uh, you can hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, only I want to say this. And I'm also a little sad. Uh, Raghunath called me in the March uh, that we can calling and we have not made it. It is not happened. We have not called, but now I can call with him. Yeah, this is a, this for me, an example for me. Raghunath to, to connect Raghunath does that I can learn not worst, worst, also verlieren the time with any things here around me in the material world. It's wonderful to clarify this, but which is for me like an explosion. Wie sagt man Rakete, Suniti? <laughs> Rocket of love for Radhika. <laughs> I'm very, very thankful. Jay Shri Radha, Jay Jay Shri Raghunathas. Jay Shri Radha. Thank you. <laughs> so Maduri, the only one. Could you maybe play that on in a good sound? Because I could only play it from from my handy and this is not really good in this micro here. In a moment it's not possible. Oh okay. I have not prepared here this system for uh, to be long, yeah? But maybe I can prepare it that when we have half an hour or twenty minutes that I can find it maybe in my computer and load down on a stick and to play it for you. Is it okay? Suniti What about the time? Do we have half an hour? No, because then nobody... I think now it's the best time to share and the music we can play... Uh, Radhe, Radhe. Yes? They come just now from the... Radhe, 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 Radhe. Yes, please share. With the mic. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, so we come back here just now. You are good to English, maybe you can talk. You talk. You talk. Rade, rade, everyone. So, yeah, we just came from Radha Kund. Uh, so, we saw, we came there in the maybe around noon, something something about that, uh, around noon, then we found out that uh, Karuna told us that uh, Raghunath left his body between 9 and 10 in the morning. Um, just he didn't feel well for, like yesterday, didn't feel well. And then... Uh, Uh, today in the morning he wake he woke up and uh, still he was not feeling well so he took uh, his medicine and went went back back to bed and she was taking rest also then when she woke up uh, she just he just he he wasn't breathing any any longer so yeah and And uh, yeah, we came came there around uh, around noon, 
then uh, Raju, uh, from, uh, our pandit from uh, from Radakun, he uh, took care to inform his brother who is taking care of uh, people who left their bodies, and uh, he brought all the paraphernalia. Yeah, police was there to identify, to take uh, passport and identify the person and then Faragunat and uh, yeah, it was uh, how to say it was it was not it was not pleasant like <laughs> any death is not pleasant. But uh, yeah, all administration went well. There was only one thing that was missing was the original passport and original uh, uh, with uh, with original uh, uh, visa so somehow we could no one could find this there was a copy of visa copy of, copy of passport but no original then police uh, uh, said that uh, uh, they have to get the permission from uh, German government, meaning from embassy of, of Germany, uh, to burn the body. But that uh, they need also this original passport. So it was like, um, yeah, a little bit about passport. <laughs> but after some time, uh, they, they were me. trying. They called me. Yeah. They called Gurudev, and then there was back and forth calling and no, looking when for... No, they called me, hmm. I say, when it's difficult to find, find there, he will get it. Because he is hiding, the, somebody hides the things, like nobody can find it out. Hmm. So, so there is a one garbage box. Eh. Be hiding there. <laughs> so at the end, they found uh, they found it uh, in garbage box. Yeah, Shirade. So that was that was uh, done. And uh, yeah, uh, Kishori and I didn't go in because it's a custom that uh, uh, that only a few people go in, take care of the body, prepare for the cremation. So uh, we didn't go in. But we could uh, we could see uh, from Better the window. To take bath. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Well, first, you know, take bath, mm -hmm. doing anything. Okay. Because okay. you go anywhere, somebody touch you. Ah, you have uh -huh. to take bath. Oh, okay. So uh, then we uh, we came, uh, we saw Aragonata's body from from the window. We peeked through the window, and. Uh, there was a blissful smile on his face, so it's success. <laughs> smiling, uh, he died smiling on a radakund. Shri Rade. Yeah. Uh, Kishori would like to share also something. Rade. Yeah. I go to bath. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to take bath and I will come back. No, after bath. At first, everyone has to take bath. Okay. okay. Then I will, uh, uh, I will uh, come with the... Only with this. So, uh, just now, Antakadi talked like this. And we brought a bath club instrument from his home. I came here, Mugel Mandir, first time, 2015. At that time, Bajpura was there. He took care of me nicely as a younger sister. Every year, I met him. He knows my history in this Mugel Mandir. So maybe after many, many stories will come, the person who is in Radha Kunda, but at least we come here to bring his instrument to the Sanseva also. 
And we are very glad to report like this fresh from the lab center. And thank you for sending to this, make this occasion. Actually, he left his body in Lada Kunda. His desire is fulfilled and he is smiling. We go to Darshan, this great Mahatma. His great Mahatma. This is our fortune also. Lada, Lada. Now, Guru Dev is uh, going to the bathroom, so I need to go take shower also, just I came back from this place. So, thank you for giving me opportunity to share this thing. Jai Sri Ramadhi. Thank you, Gishori. So nice. This is a uh, a real glorious story to listen that from our Raghunathas. And what I learned from this, that uh, we judge person from our point of view, but Radhika is completely different to other, to our point of view. We, it's hard to understand her loving feelings to us. And uh, yes, Raghunad is, um, I never saw him in an a unhappy uh, uh, mood. I think this was his nature to be happy somehow. Many things maybe goes wrong in his life, but he was always happy. He was with his music and his poesy. He is uh, writing uh, many, many uh, songs. And he was, he lived in his world, we could say. Miss Marmini, yeah. And, uh, so, when he went to Radakun, I was thinking, why he is going to Radakun? Why he is not staying in Mungya Mandir? It's so nice with Gurudev. But this is, again, my point of view. But his point of view is different, was always different, because we are two complete different persons. Like all of us, we are completely different. And the conclusion of our relationships in this world is different. But what I learned from his leaving body is really how merciful Swamini to, is to a person who try to be close to her. It's touching very much my heart to listen how he left body it's a it's a it's such a glorious topic we, we speak about this his living body i mean i saw many many people as a nurse living body and i saw many many different circumstances how people live body leave some with pain some with fear and many don't know what happened with they have no any idea what what is coming now but i'm sure that uh, our raghunath he was really fixed on one point so swamini will really get him and take him by the hand now. In his Manjari Swarup, he got from our Gurudev. And because of this, there is a smile on his face. Because he realized in that moment when he is entering this door, 
so he can see the glories in that moment. And I could say for my, for me, this, I also like to leave this world. Like this, no? Like he, like he did. And it's, uh, it's a great mercy by our Swamini giving to him. Uh, yes, this makes me very happy to see this. I mean, it's sad for all, everyone. Goes to him. But uh, for me, it's a, it's a great thing what happened there in the glorious place in the universe to our Raghunath Vamsi Das, Dasi. So that's all I like to share. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. I just remembered last time when I met him, he told me, you know, in Vrindavan, wonderful things happen. And I said, yes, I know, but what do you mean? Then he looked in my eyes and said, You can really see Radha? I mean, really? From face to face, like we know. He was always in deep feelings also, maybe not a lot of people were aware. A few people had the chance to talk with him very deeply. And I know that in the last days, weeks, months, he was completely absorbed and I, I told him that I know you will soon go, because otherwise you're not talking like this. And he was prepared to go and leave in Radhakund, and Radharani fulfilled his wish. I'm so happy about this. I'm more happy about this, but I'm also very sad. There are not so many people like him. But it gives, gives me great hope, actually, that our end will be also similar. Not because we are so glorious, but but Arani's mercy is so great, and we see it again here. We see how much she is taking care of any individual. Our wishes, our needs, 
And I know he will now learn to play Sita from Swamini directly. This will be his music school now at Radhakun. <laughs> and this makes me very happy. So I'm very thankful that we could be friends and we could make some music for Radharani together with Madhuri also. I don't know if you know, but we had actually a group together, Madhuri. <laughs> Raghunathas and me, we had some plans to make nice concerts, but now he will make a concert in another place with Swamini and all the others, the other girlfriends which are in that mood. I was thinking to pray for him, but who I am, I'm sure he's there and I hope he will pray for me. <laughs> Rati, Rati. Um, I wanted to share that I I just know him a few years since a few years, but like Gora already said, he was also positive. Like he is always, always positive and so inspiring. And I could I think I could feel this this deep greed he had in his one pointedness and. Yes, I hope he will support us <laughs> in this way and bless us. Jai Shri Radhe, Radhe. I also want to share one last memory with Raghunath Baba. That was Chaitra Purnima from Radha Kund. And we sit together and he said to me, Rabha Galatika, one day we will see how is nice beauty of Radha Kund. Not now we are covering it our ego and one day we will see all, all these beautiful things. I am sure that he go there. Rade. Rade, Rade, Dandavar. Rade, Rade. Okay. Also, <clears throat> I would like to share. Since the first time I came um, to Vrindavan, Raghunath was always there <laughs> with his <clears throat> guitar, with his joyful energy. And, uh, in COVID time, it was really so intimate atmosphere because there were only few of us really uh, during the whole year of, of COVID and we really um, 
which felt like family. <laughs> and um, Ragunat was always like an uncle <laughs> to me, like a very senior, but such a sweet, sweet person. Honestly, the the most <laughs> the most gentle uh, person I ever met. And um, <laughs> it was so nice in the morning time, around 3.30 a.m., every single morning. He, <laughs> I was staying in the room A, and somebody would wake me up. He was doing, he, he always said he was doing Gordon Parikrava. Every single morning at 3 30, 4, he was chanting around Radha Mohan every morning. And a few rounds, I think he did like maybe 20 rounds. And then a few last rounds, he did with his hands up like this. <laughs> he was like, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. He was so sweet and gentle. And then he would go and do. Uh, Mangalara, he would sing and play such a sweet and a loving way. And I was always admiring his, his, his determination. But also in this, he was so sweet. Never said any word to anyone how he should or should not uh, behave. Even though he was so senior, he was so um, advanced, and uh, yeah, he was so gentle. And um, one of the qualities that I really hope I I can learn from uh, him is he never, I never, ever, ever heard one negative word about any Vaishnava. He was never, either he would stay quiet if somebody was talking something, or he would say something positive. He never, never said, I never heard him, any negative uh, vibration even uh, towards uh, Vaishnava. And <laughs> I am so happy for him today. Because he said so many times, you know, I had such a good life, Rasamai. I had everything. I had I am ready to go. When she wants me, I am ready to go. I had such a nice life. <laughs> and I want to be you and Radha Kun. <laughs> so today I am so happy for him. So sad also, but so happy because it's so many mercy. He he is invited <clears throat> to the best concert of his life. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Good idea. Radha, Radha, to everyone. I just wanted to share something about, um, I like to call him Bamsi because I I met him the first time uh, as a Bamsi. <laughs> and uh, usually uh, I don't share anything, but uh, I'm inspired by all of you. And uh, by listening, Rasamai, I also wanted to share something like that I've also never heard uh, from him uh, talking bad about anybody and uh, always positive and joyful. And uh, 
I met him the first time seven years ago. And any time I went to Vrindavan, he was there. And I I was lucky because I got to spend a lot of time with him, especially during COVID. Uh, he was my uh, like uh, next door neighbor, and he used to invite him in his room for um, always sharing. Uh, about Radharani and uh, and not anything else. And uh, he was always invited me to play with him. Sometimes I played the flute, and so he was very happy to share this uh, these moments with me. And I I was also wondering uh, why he wanted to move to. To Radhaku, the very last uh, day of my stay in Vrindavan at that time. So uh, I was a bit sad, but I was uh, uh, gladly helping me moving. So I helped him move, and uh, usually every morning he was coming uh, for help because he needed uh, arms to move all the stuff. And uh, so I was very, I was very yeah, happy for him. And uh, as a selfish person, I was a little bit upset. And uh, I've been in touch uh, with him uh, for a long time, also after he left uh, Mungir Mandir. And uh, we were in touch like every, not every week, but uh, every two months or so. And the last time uh, uh, I was in Japan, and uh, he he called me because he wanted to show me his view from his windows, uh, window in Radaku. So I I got to see the the place where he was living, and uh, yeah, so I was very lucky to spend all this time with him. So, thank you, Raghunath. That, that. Goravani, maybe you can play at least the song from your phone. Like 
sunset in summertime Your tears so refreshing and alive Like raindrops in springtime You're the only, you're the one So, so all is going good. 
I today I surprise one call come to me from German number without name. Then I received that call. It was ten a.m. morning. He said that I am a Karuna Amrita. Gurudev was seen leave his body. I was shocked. I said, I don't believe it. Mm. I said, what do you say, Karuna Amrita? I am thinking that you are coming. Your health is not good. He said, my health is not good. And Bansi was not sick. But he, at a, a, a night time or morning, he was walking and everything. And again, he come to rest. And night, he left his body. So, if without any sickness, it happens. He said, very good luck, very good person, very special So He has no pain, no trouble, and he passed away. <coughs> he was a good thing. So much he thought it. That we miss him. What to do? He gave love to everyone. And his kind and smile, we will never forget that. We have to pray to this soul that he goes in the service of Radharani. This is his wish. He prepared to come to get her his pension to live in Radhakun. It will become successful in his life. He's successful because he comes to live there and he's really living there. <laughs> he leave his body to live there. <laughs> so good. Thank you. This is the Vaishnavas. By the example, they are keeping us. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I would like to share this. Uh, I met uh, Raghunath that time on ship in uh, 2018. <coughs> And then, yeah, we just clicked because, you know, artists, <laughs> artists click. So, yeah, then uh, next year, 2019, I stayed here for a longer time and he was here also. So we were like uh, brothers uh, waking up together <laughs> and going. <laughs> <laughs> going to speak together. It was yeah, almost all day we were together and yeah, doing our music and and I got to know him. Uh, yeah, he was one of the most pure-hearted persons I met in my life. He was very simply focused in one place, this is Radha's maid service. Uh, it was his, you could from, from uh, how to say, from just from meeting him, speaking to him, seeing him, and seeing him in action, and what would he pick to listen, and to hear, and to speak, and to walk, and he was just completely fixed in Radha. And uh, he was, how to say, very simple, non duplicious. He was not hypocrite. <laughs> he was pure, pure, pure soul. 
in and out, in and out, pure, pure, pure soul. So yeah, I was uh, uh, I was really touched by this. His innocence, he was just innocent. Radha's child. <laughs> yeah, and he was, yeah. Therefore, he went to Radha Kund. Uh, maybe in spite of maybe some other opinion, this and that, but he, he said, I want to die in Radha Kund. And he he was asking from the, the, from uh, sadhus the blessings. Please bless me that I will leave my body here. Please bless me from sadhu to sadhu. <laughs> so yeah, he was completely there. And today, when I saw a smile on his face, I became so happy. It's 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 a. Uh, Raghunatha's blissful smile. Those who know him know this smile. <laughs> I got such a nice, nice step. Yeah, and of course, such a person, such simple, straightforward, pure person is always, I would say, it's always the biggest shock. Like, why? such people have to go <laughs> and uh, also they are missed the most so yeah we will miss him we will miss him at the same time it's it's so good to know that he left his body happily in his radha kund um, Rade, Rade. I came a little late because uh, I was doing uh, Radara Sasdani class in, in Uelu. And then Uelu, Uelu's student, yoga student, they are remembering how Ragnata teach them first time Muridanga. So, they are remembering Ragnata. And uh, I, I like, uh, we are like a uh, brother. And I remember Andaka and, uh, and uh, Ragnata, they are you know, playing together. And uh, I, oh, she was first. So then I remember whenever I get up and uh, early morning, then Ragnata was always chanting and uh, in, he, he's walking, Japa walk in, uh, uh, always in the temple. I don't know, maybe four or five years ago, or maybe more. Whenever I get up, I try to go Mongolatic or, you know, go do something. Then always he get up earlier and he was walk around in the temple. And uh, I remember he told me how he met Bhakti Rakshaka Shuridara Maharaj and uh, he got blessing. And uh, also many stories, how, how Brinda Kunj got to this land by the mercy of Lord or Swamini. And uh, he used to tell, tell me, I want to stay in, in, in Radha Kunda. I want to leave his body in Radha Kunda. And uh, for me also very, very, very funny say, Difficult to express because I don't believe and also same time very sad, also very, very fortunate he could live in Radha Kunda. And he was such a beautiful musician, genius musician. I have one recording with him 
just if you like, I want to little bit. You know, his, his harmonica and play guitar is so genius. I was, I cannot believe, like, sorry. <laughs> Jananda, Jananda. Oh. Yes. Please turn on sound for musicians. Okay.
just pray for Ragnata and I also, I also pray Ragnata Ji. Rade, rade. Thank you very much. May I say something? Rade, rade. Uh, I just wanted to say that I uh, was fortunate enough to uh, met uh, such a beautiful soul last time when I was in India. Uh, previously, I didn't know him, uh, but uh, Mahabhava and Dinadiyal had uh, invited me to go together in Radhakund and uh, uh, they wanted to introduce me such a very beautiful person and take association of him and we were together there. Uh, and uh, he showed very uh, nice hospitality and uh, he associated with us in very, very spontaneous, spontaneous natural platform and uh, uh, we chant together. Uh, he uh, asked me to read one poem because Mahababa told me that also I am uh, uh, writing something. And we hear this and uh, chant together in the front of uh, Radhika and Krishna and uh, we cry together, all together. And uh, uh, in one uh, short conversation, uh, he told me that uh, Actually, uh, he don't love so much India. I mean, don't like this hot weather, this mess around, many people and everything. Uh, and then, then uh, only reason, because he's a present exactly in the dead place in Radha Kund, in Vrindavan, in association of uh, these devotees, only reason is uh, Shrimati Radhika, actually. He said that uh, he is uh, mine, I'm hers, and uh, that's all. I'm here because of her, and I will stay here because of her to the end of my life. And uh, he showed me Vilapa uh, Kusumanjali and Radharasa Sudanidi in one corner of his room. I said, this is only two books what I read every day, and actually I don't... Uh, need nothing in my life more, just two books, and my heart is fulfilled always. And on the end, because uh, we recognize each other from some artistic platform, speak uh, confidentially a little bit, and uh, he, he uh, sang uh, some song with introduction of some band, I think Pink Floyd, or I don't remember exactly, and then uh, um, after this introduce, he chanted uh, Mahamantra and the Radhika's names. And uh, he gave me a record in my mobile phone. He said, just uh, don't give uh, nobody, just listen. And then I want to publish this, make something with this, because he had a plan to make, make uh, something with this. And I promise him that I will just listen and uh, wait a uh, moment that he will uh, uh, this published to everybody. So it's my fortune to, I mean, maybe it seems like uh, uh, this uh, association is superficial platform because I didn't know him before, but in the uh, short time, you can see that we can establish so strong relationships when Radhika is in the center and we have love for her, then this relationship is not just strong, I think it's eternal and uh, can say just, I hope we will meet him again and uh, serve our Swamini together. That's from my side, thank you very much. Radhi, Radhi.
Jai Shri Radhe, if you allow me, I will also like to share a few words about Raghunath Baba. So, all his qualities have already been said by everyone. Just for the sake of glorifying this great Vaishnava, we'll try to share my experience with him and his qualities to meditate upon and take and remain in our hearts. I met Raghunath Baba when he was Vamsi in 2010 here in Vrindavan, here in Mungar Mandir. And he was staying in Vrindakunj that time, but he was coming every day, every single day uh, with his guitar to sing Kirtan. <coughs> and he was involving everyone so much to sing Kirtan, playing Midanga and everything as he continued to do probably until the last day in his physical body. And he was always coming here during karting time then for the next years while remaining still at the service of um, Paramanveti Maharaj and Vrinda Mission. And then I think in 2000, uh, 17 maybe or 18 he told that he wanted to go to the deep of spiritual life and to make a different way of his journey in bhakti and he wanted to take more shelter in uh, gurudev sadhu maharaj although he knows he known gurudev since i think the uh, 90 something 94 95 but he wanted to like become again a, a disciple this was he was telling to me uh, i was lucky to uh, have his close friendship and association because of the music which connected us so many times he was coming here to my room and we used to play together and then he was sharing his feelings to me that I'm just such a uh, neophyte novice in age, material age compared to him and experience in life, in bhakti and everything. But he was just sharing his, his feelings and, 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 and thoughts and, and, and everything like if I would be something, someone equal to him. Because he was so humble that just one has to see that it's not possible to describe in words and he was sharing his heart and he was telling how he wanted to become like a disciple for, of gurudev and he wanted to start his spiritual journey again and when he actually made that we were all surprised because he started to live here permanently and he really was behaving like he he was like the last who just arrived into the the, uh, the devotees community. He was really behaving like that everyone here is superior to me because you're living here since more time than me. I just started now this more internal practice of Raganuga Sadhana under guidance of Gurudev and you are all superior to me. And he was always talking this way, not only talking because uh, everyone can be good to talk, but his behavior was as such. He was always asking if he could be helpful in doing some service and every kind of manual service, like any kind of very, very tiny, tiny, small, small service that devotees after some time, they start to think that is not anymore on me because I am an experienced old devotee, so probably the youngster have to do. He was just doing that. He liked to do that. And it, it was as a very surrender to Gurudev, how he was trying to ask every day to Gurudev how he could do some service. And always Gurudev was trying to engage him with the music, playing Kirtan, and also setting the sound system and everything. And as you know, sometimes Gurudev treatments can be 
not easy to to face to experience to live here when he wants us to make some progress in our uh, uh, spiritual life then it can be a little bit tough let's say to fight with our own ego and everything and uh, i had the fortune to live here now for some time so i could see many episodes of myself and also on others and i have to admit that i have never seen someone like ragunat who never never really took anything on, on on his personal side like on his false ego he always really behaved like a disciple listening and excusing himself if there was anything that gurudev would tell to him that was not done in a proper way that he could improve he was always always admitting that i've made a mistake i made a fault sorry my guru i will try to improve this now i will make it better the next time he never 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 kind of disrespect or or or, or show that he was not agree with some instruction or some scolding that guru uh, gave to him and this was a, a great example for all of us at least for me that i'm still many light years far from this kind of stage of consciousness and and behavior as a as a devotee and as uh, gorasundar said he had his own character he had his own world and someone might feel that somehow he was sometime too much in his own world let's say and his behavior was a kind of weird or what he's doing but the way that now he left his body it just demonstrate how as gorasundar gorvani said these are just temporary things connected to our material body that we have brought with us by taking birth in such a country in such a family and building up kind of character that has made it in such a way just a met for a matter of um, being grown up in a certain circumstances but that is fully different from actually what is inside our heart what is our consciousness and in the end although if we might behave like in a very normal way and we might be sympathetic to everyone that doesn't mean anything that radharani is actually pleased with us radharani would be more much more pleased uh, if someone has the qualities like ragunath or i just remember rida chaitanya also that he also had these qualities and outwardly he might have seemed that he had also his own character which was sometime uh, very different from the normal start on devotional uh, society etiquette or whatever but the humbleness the uh, lack of false ego these are the things that radharani likes the most and bless most of his devotees according to the amount that one has such a qualities and ragunath had fully these qualities humbleness personification of humbleness and as rasamai said i could also uh, testify that he never 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 said a bad thought about anyone even if you would try to sometimes speak not even bad thought actually just even praising because we know that either negatively or positively one actually should not talk of other vaishnava because both things are actually just connected to a temporary state of uh of being so if negatively or positively he just never liked to to talk about anyone uh that was not present in in that moment and that was not it was just living his present and his determination in everything he, he had done like we can all see how when he was playing a kirtan either there was one devotee or there were hundred for him was the same even if there were or, or even if he was alone i was talking before with romananda that uh, when he was in his home in turn in italy 
he was playing Kirtan and um, Ramananda was in the other room and he was just listening to Raghunath and then he thought maybe many devotees are sitting there or maybe he's giving some kind of uh, online concert because of the um, enthusiasm that he had playing Kirtan. Then he went to the temple room and he was alone. And then he, we, were, we were just talking how uh, this wonderful quality of, of him, like it, how he was actually singing just for uh, his Hista Devi, not for uh, anyone. If there was one person or hundred person, that doesn't matter to him. He was just trying to sing for, for the pleasure of, of Radhika. And uh, he did that until the, the last day of his life in this Sadak Deya, because as you know, he made his uh, school in Radhakun, where he would give teachings to other devotees. So he just continued to do that. And when he left from here two years before and he wanted to go to Radhakun, as I think some of you said already, outwardly, it might have seemed that, oh, he's going uh, to be far from Gurudev. Oh, he's leaving the temple here. These typical external judgments, which are based only on uh, material considerations uh, w without a proper uh, vision of the things which anyway happen always in groups. When we are a group and someone take a different thing, then we always think, oh, he went out of the group. But that actually was the thing that he made him glorious because he didn't care of the judgments of the group of anyone and he just followed what was his inside uh, will, his inside call from Swamini to go to her lake and fully absorb in bhajan more than here because definitely being alone made him more concentrated and more deep without being distracted by uh, many other uh, external things. So we will remember Raghunaji deeply in our heart and take his life as a as a lesson for for the practice of our journey. Thank you. Jai Shri Radhe. I would like to share some little point more. I just remembered when I met him last time, he was telling me that what is his daily shudal at Radakun. And he was not only making parigram around Radakun, but he also was going in Radakun lying there on the water and he said it's like in the arms of Radharani lying there on the water just let yourself flow and then he was deeply meditating on one verse of Vilap Kusumanjali in Radhakun. So he was completely free of whatever things whatever the thoughts from others could be outside and i like this very much because he was just going in his meditation and he didn't care how it looked outside maybe some people were wondering what he's doing there but he was completely deep and meditating 
And actually, this is now how he left in the arms of Radharani. And I want to thank you that you all shared your impressions Yes, I also want to thank you all for coming here and remembering our dear brother, sister, and how deep these relationships are and um, inspire us to help each other on our path. Many things were said that also touched me very deeply. To think how I will spend my last years and what will be my focus and how to apply in my whole inside and outside and to become very focused and one-pointed more and more. How we are helping each other. How also I am thankful for all the devotees who went there today, Shyama Priya and Sachi, all went, Vandana, maybe also Azeshwari, and they helped to support Karunamrita also and I pray that the Raghunath body can also stay there and be burned in Radha Kund's area that all things will go well but I have a feeling Gurudev that it will all go very well like you said because he was Kuri and Siddhanta Prabhu also went and Ananta, many are going from there. So, uh, so most, most probably his body will be burned in Radha Kunda. We are in process uh -huh. of body. Just uh, it takes time, but the process is going on by all your months. And we will support Karunamurita. We stay together, stick, stick together. Thank you. That is Thank important you. also for her. Yes, we are family. Thank you, Sumiti Devi. You are always stay with us. And our Gora Chandra Prabhu also, Chakshi Prabhu also, many devotees. This suddenly happened, but many devotees helped. It's very beautiful. Thank you, Rod. Everything is fine. Now, Paramadati Maharaj also come. Yes, Siddhanta Maharaj called. Paramadati Maharaj also. Great advice, Maharaj. Please. We don't believe morning time that it can be possible, but it happens. Many must be good soul like this. Live like nothing happened. 
We pray to his soul that all goes peaceful. Lord. Sunati, what do you think? Maybe we can have a last song. From Bhajan. Which he was actually also recording with us together. Beautiful. Yeah. In Madhuri studio. Om Shanti Om Shanti
we will miss to make bhajans with him together. <laughs> but in, the, in meditation, we will do it anyway. <laughs>